Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another mail call video. This video is going to be sharing cards that were received for the month of March 2020. The theme for March was just because cards. So these are going to be a lot of just kind of like every occasion type of cards. And before we get into that, I'm going to let you guys know that we have a new class starting online card classes. It starts this Saturday on the 11th and it lasts for 20 days. We're going to be sharing with you along with some crafty friends. Uh, I, card ideas for kind of like two for one cards. So like when you're creating one card, the technique you're using actually creates two cards or multiple cards. So that's the kind of theme behind it. This is the Spring Card Camp 2020. Hope you guys will sign up for class and join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I will have a link down below. You can click on over and sign up for class. It's a great way to just get involved and make some cards. So like I mentioned before, um, this is mail call for March. I received a lot of cards. Um, I'll total them up after I finish filming and I'll put it up here for how many cards I received. So, so, so many. Um, I'm overwhelmed every single time I go to open the mail and I see all of your beautiful cards. And like I've done in previous mail call videos, at the beginning of the video here, I'll be showing you some of the cards that stood out to me or that I just wanna give special attention to. And then I will show you every single card that was received. And um, here we go. All right, I'm starting out with this card from Lisa in New York. And uh, she has this really cool card. It's very three dimensional. She's got like these partially die cut flowers that she's die cut out of the white cardstock. So you can see like the, the foil paper below, the red metallic paper. She's also die cut the same flowers out of pattern paper and layered that on top. Can you guys see that? It's so creative and fun. This next card is from Caitlin in Spring Hill, Florida. She has a note on the back here and she said that um, this is a pass along card. When you receive it, you pass along the mini card to a friend. So it has this cute little card and then inside there's a smaller little card all ready to send to a friend. I thought that was such a fun idea and a way to um, send a handwritten card that the person can keep, but then also something that they can pass on to a friend. I thought that was super fun. So Caitlin in Florida. This card is from Norma in Colorado, and I love this card design. It's very stark, kind of really clean graphic, but also monochromatic just with the grays and black. You can see all the texture that she's included using an embossing folder. I think it's just really, really neat. And the inside is craft paper or like brown paper bag. I thought it was just really striking and it really stood out to me. I really like it. This next card is from Kimberly in Maryland. And I thought this little cutie card was adorable using these little images. Um, I like the, the three little cutouts showing the ink blending or the um, colorful background behind and then these icons right on top. I think it's a really fun way to use some kind of mid-size images on a card. This card from Raylene in Idaho really caught my eye and I was like, oh my word, these flowers are gorgeous. Let me get up close so you guys can see that. Look at all that dimension and I, it made me touch the flowers. They're made out of fun foam. I'm like, this is amazing. How did she make these flowers? And I was like, this, these look so really look awesome. So then I read on the back of her note here, she says, I was wanting to try making flowers from foam, big fail. When shaping, the ink rubbed off, tried to use the heat gun, burned one completely, leaves were the worst, but salvageable. Used an old background from long ago, butterfly even older from who knows where. So she made these flowers and they look phenomenal. They look absolutely amazing. And the leaves turned out great too. I just think, um, it, it's beautiful. I think you're being too hard on yourself, Raylene. I think it looks great. Next up is this card from Marsha, and she's from Indiana, and I thought it was just beautiful. Look at the coloring on this flower. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's a little bit of shimmer. If you can see that up here. There's a little bit of shimmer up here. It looks like she's used a, uh, some sort of glimmer, shimmery pen to draw in some details. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love all that coloring, and it's so elegant and simple. I really love it. This card from Charlotte in Dallas, Texas caught my eye. I love this glittery texture that I'm sure she probably used a stencil on, but it's this super thick glitter texture. It's really, really neat. I think it looks gorgeous, and I love the background. 
kind of fading from this teal to a nice lime green. So beautiful. I love that butterfly on there too. This card and envelope set is from Crystal. I think that's how she says her name in Saskatchewan, Canada. And look how fun this is. It's a matching envelope with the card. And she's uh, she has like some, um, she's used a stencil, but she's added some detail on the leaves. I don't know if you can see that. Some little line textures on the leaves. And she stamped the greeting across this glossy surface. I don't know if it's embossing powder or maybe she's used like a glaze through the stencil. I'm not sure, but I think it just turned out so great with that greeting right on top. All right, we have a few cards from our younger crafters. This one is from Joanna, who's 16 in North Carolina. And look how fun this is. With all this dimension, look at that. It looks so cool. And the kind of the metallic embossing powder, I think it looks so, so neat. And I love this greeting with the root and for you with the plants. So fun. This card is from Sherry in Nova Scotia. And she did mark um, under 18, but didn't put an age. I didn't know where to put this card. Um, just so you guys know, in the future, if you mark that you're under 18, but you don't put your age, I won't put it in the, the younger crafter category just because I don't know if she like, you know, accidentally marked it. I don't know. Like it seems more intentional when the, when the age is also given, but just in case this is from Sherry in Nova Scotia. And I really love the, the stenciling done over the top of this. I think it looks really, really cool and a fun spot inside to leave a message. This last card from the Younger Crafters category is from Allison in California, who's 12. And check out how cool this card is. It's one of the cards that has the little moving part on it. And it slides back and forth. So cute. The little mouse can rotate. I think it turned out so great. And you know... Sometimes building these like interactive cards is a little bit complicated. So for a 12 year old to do it, that's kind of amazing. And it looks beautiful. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you images of all of the cards for the rest of the month. So many beautiful cards were sent to me, including ones that were actually personal cards sent to me, get well cards since I've been sick over the last month. So thank you so much for sharing those wonderful cards with me. Here are all of the Just Because cards.
thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed all of those cards. Such an amazing array of different types of cards with different techniques, different color palettes. I love seeing what you guys are up to. If you would like to participate in April mail call or even any future mail calls, check out the information down below. Um, I have a specific page at my website that talks about mail call. It gives you all the themes for the year 2020 and my address for to send it instructions, things like that. And I hope to see a card from you very soon, especially since this is kind of on the way we can all interact these days. So don't be afraid to put a card in the mail so everyone can see what you're working on. Once again, thanks so much for watching today. I'll be back very soon with a regular card video.